Crossing is quite a departure for me. Bang, bang, bang. What I've done is found a different, a different kind of side of myself. Gotten in touch with with the rockier side of myself. definitely hear more electric guitar the drums are bigger the sound is bigger it's more of a big band kind of sound we've brought in various other influences such as soul we've got horn sections and kind of soul style backing vocalists ooh, 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 yeah. and groove is kind of not that, that, that my other work is missing groove, but it's it's not as emphasized as it is on this album. Well, look at us, my friend. Look how far we've come. We're on the easy side old. On the wrong side of young, but we're still growing. Lifetimes happen in a day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I started pre-production on the album at um, mine and Barry Burke's home studio. We then decided to take them to Dan Roberts at Stoop Studio. He worked on my second album, Living Room, as well as my third album, Six Winters. Dan won the Best Producer Award at the Samas in 2012 for his production work on Six Winters. He puts a lot of emphasis on the strength of the songs, so we spend a lot of time in pre-production. It just, it just something about it just flows then. Yeah. Instead of it stopping and starting. Yeah. I mean, you've got your other version. He also has such a flair for recording organic instruments, for getting that natural sound. Often Dan's preference is to try and get the musicians to record live together, which is really nice um, because it keeps it real, not overproduced or overpolished. Every man is somebody's child, mother a father a preacher. felt like such a departure for me. We decided to go with some musicians who would bring in the flavor that we were looking for. Um, the first person we got in touch with was Tebojo Serumedi. Tebs brought in real soul and funkiness and groove and rhythm. Justin Bardenhorst, he's amazing. His rhythms are incredible. I was very lucky to get Cez Adamson in again. Lani Groves has to be my favorite cellist in the country. On backing vocals, we had Lebo Moalusi, 
um, and Tebs. We had Boyke Sidley on saxophone, and then we had Bez Roberts, who's a trombonist. We worked with a fantastic keyboard um, player, Tsepo Monareng. His fingers are so fast and so, so sensitive. He's got a beautiful sensitive touch. Okay, here we go. Steven, it all. Yeah, maybe better electric. Oh, I don't know. I hate those electric. Yeah, but then it's draw string or whatever. Yeah, probably just voice and voice, bass and drums. Stealing my love. I decided I wanted to write something totally different. Stealing my love can't take no. What am I saying? Can't, 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 can't. It's can't. What? <laughs> can't. Stealing my love. Stealing my love. Diamonds. Until you my can't gold. take no. Can't take Lost and found is a metaphor. Um, when I was at school, there was always a little lost and found box. And I take that metaphor and I use it to describe how sometimes dreams get lost and then rediscovered, which is something that people in the music industry have to deal with on a daily basis. There's the sense of staying in touch with your dreams and um, not losing them, you know, not, not letting them end up in that lost and found box. Why border crossing? Well, it, it kind of just happened that a lot of the songs had travel themes. And it's also symbolic of the fact that I'm exploring a different side of myself and a different sound. And also thematically, the songs, they're less personal. Um, I've kind of broadened my horizons a little bit um, and I'm looking out a little bit more in this album. Falling Down is about a woman who drinks to escape from the domestic world in which she feels incredibly trapped. This song took a while to get right. This was one of the songs on the album that we spent quite a lot of time on with the musicians who came into studio. If we 
go with piano. Maybe you need to be just to bring in a little couple more sort of chord things in yeah. there. My reference for this was like an Alicia Keys type, like quite a strong yeah. ballad. Well, just try something. Try. Okay. It. Try. Okay. There were two different beats that we were looking at for the song. One was more of a hip hop groove. Um, the hip hop just the hip hop groove didn't suit my voice. And the other was had more of pop sensibility. It's only two o'clock. The afternoon's just beginning. It stretches before her, never ending. She looks around. It's the same old scene. Mother alone with unspoken dreams. She says, Why? We set out to create something that people that's honest and that people can connect with. You know, we, we really want to move people. And um, as Dan and I have always discussed, if you if you're not going to make people dance, you must make them cry. So on Six Winters, we made people cry, or we hope we did, not in a bad way. Um, and on Border Crossing, I want to make people dance. <laughs> Front Seat is my rockabilly song. It's a song that kind of is my own story. And it's a song about really not caring what, what you're told to do and just kind of doing what you need to do and living the way that you need to live to make your life um, meaningful. <laughs> always been a huge fan of, of artists like Lucinda Williams who combine country music with rock music. Uh, we were listening to Duke and the King, um, Ray LaMontagne, John Mayer, so people who really combine this sort of real music feel, um, folk and country with, with the rockier sound. 
She Trusts You um, is a song about hanging on to childhood scars. The things that you're, you experience when you're a child are things that stay with you for the rest of your life and they actually help form who you are as a person. Mama may have left you standing in the rain And she may have told you you were to blame That don't mean you're gonna always be waiting That don't mean you're gonna always be blamed Take the leap cause the slings and the arrows are buried too deep But she only loves you, she thinks the world of you You think she's lying like they lie to you Taking the album with you um, on the road and playing a show and then people can take a piece of that away with them that's really satisfying and I think it's great traveling music I think this album might be a great traveling companion for people on the road <laughs> in South Africa, bringing in that New Orleans soul influence. Um, there's not much that, that kind of um, crosses over those genres um, in the way that border crossing does. <laughs> Lastly, we have Time Loving You, which um, this song was actually written by Barry Burke and this is the ultimate love song. It's an apocalyptic song about the end of the world and staying true to, to the love of your life. If I had all the news till the end of time, then the stars. 
stars have burned out and ceased to shine when the oceans have frozen up and covered the land and all good men become men who are bad. So here it is, my fourth album, Border Crossing. It's um, in many of the music stores throughout South Africa. It's on iTunes as well. Please come visit me on Facebook, Twitter, on my website. Come say hi, and I'll hopefully catch you on the road. Mm -hmm.